Hi, this is problem number 15 on centroid of the when figures it is asked to find centroid of the shaded area. Okay. Uh, here we have a circle as unshaded portion. Okay. So in finding the overall area, we have to find the area of the shaded portion only. So therefore, in the overall area, if you deduct area of the circle, then you will get area of the shaded portion. Okay. So let me draw the reference axis. This is reference x axis and this is reference y axis. Uh, now I will take this rectangle as component number 1 and I will take this uh, rectangle triangle as component number 2 and semicircle as component number 3 and circle as component number 4. Okay. Now we will write formula for x bar and y bar for each and every components. See for right angle triangle if I assume G2 as centroid so distance of G2 what is the formula for X bar here so the X bar is going from the line so it is one third means B by 3 B by 3 okay and what about the Y bar Y bar is also going from the line H by 3 If it is going from the point, it is 2b by 3 and 2 h by 3. But here the x bar is going from the line b by 3. So y bar is also going from the line h by 3. Then coming to semicircle. Let me take g3 as centroid of semicircle. So distance of g3 from means distance of centroid of semicircle from its diameter is always. 4r by 3 pi, let me write that formula, 4r by 3 pi, 4r by 3 pi, and distance of centroid from the end point is always equal to radius, okay, for circle no need to write any formula, exactly at center of the circle only centroid will be lying, let me take it as g4. Now we will start doing the calculations. Let me take the first component that is rectangle. Rectangle number 1. Area is B into D. What is width of the rectangle? Width is 60 plus 60, 120. And depth is, what is the depth of rectangle? Depth of the rectangle? This depth of the rectangle is equal to diameter of the semicircle. Radius is given 50 mm. Okay, radius is given as 50 mm. So, 2 times the radius is diameter. So, 2 into 50. It is 100 mm. 100 mm is the depth of rectangle. Okay. Depth of rectangle is equal to diameter of the semicircle. So, it is 120 into 100. 120 into 100. It is 12,000 mm square. Coming to the x value, b by 2, 120 by 2, 60 mm. Coming to the y value, d by 2, 100 by 2, so it gives 50 mm. Okay. Then go for the next component, rectangle 2, sorry, right angle triangle 2. Right angle triangle 2. So here he is half into base into height half into base base width is 120 ok 120 here we have determined that value height is 60 120 into 60 so 3600 mm square ok then coming to the x value for right angle triangle in distance of g2 from reference y axis it is directly b by 3 B is 120 by 3, 40 mm, 40 mm, 
coming to the y value is distance of g2 g2 from the six axis this, this distance this distance is the y value for rectangle triangle distance of g2 from the six axis okay it is 100 100 plus h by 3 plus h by 3 so 100 plus h by 3 100 plus height of the triangle is 60 by 3 you will get 120 mm okay then you take semicircle semicircle 3 the area is pi r square pi 2 radius is 50 pi into 50 square by 2 uh, the area of the semicircle is uh, 3926.99 okay then coming to the x value for semicircle means distance of g3 from y axis this distance distance of g3 from y axis. This, this, this whole distance so it is equal to from here to here it is 120 120 plus this 4 r by 3 pi okay therefore x value 120 plus 4 r by 3 pi which is equal to 120 okay i will write that below is equal to 120 plus 4 into radius 50 by 3 pi the answer is uh, 141.22 141.22 coming to the y value for semicircle means distance of g3 from x axis it is directly equal to radius right r which is equal to 50 mm so which is the last component circle circle don't forget to take the negative sign because it is unshaded portion minus pi r square which is equal to radius of the semicircle is given as 20 mm minus pi into 20 square therefore the answer is 1256 point 63 mm square okay then coming to the x value for semicircle means distance of g4 from reference by this, this distance okay this distance is directly now here 60 mm directly write it as 60 mm coming to the y value for semicircle distance of g4 from reference x axis this distance this distance okay this is the y value for circle it is also equal to radius of the semicircle directly right 50 okay so this completes the calculation of area and x and y values okay now multiply area and x and area and y values right here in the last two columns here check your answers 720,000 here it is 600,000 then here 144,000 here 432,000 here it is 554,000 573.6 here 196,349.6 here then at the last here it is minus 75,398.22 minus 62,831.9 okay now we can get the summations here total area is found to be 182,000 
sorry, eighteen thousand two seventy point three five four. Then sigma ax is equal to it is one three four three one seven five point four sigma ay is equal to one one six five five one seven now we can find the x bar and y bar. You know the formula. Therefore, x bar is equal to sigma a x by sigma a one three four three one seven five point four divided by eighteen thousand two seventy point three five four. The answer for x bar is seventy three point. Five one seven millimeter, and answer for y bar is equal to sigma a y by sigma a, which is equal to one one six five five one seven divided by one eight two seven zero point three five four, which is equal to sixty three point seven nine millimeter. Okay, so this completes the problem. So if you have any doubts in any of the steps, you can post your doubt in the comment section. Okay. Thank you.